all right you are welcome again okay today let's take a look at this question under partial derivatives it says the resonant frequency f in a series circuit is given by f is equal to 1 all over 2 pi square root of l c okay now it says show that the partial derivative of f with respect to L is equal to 1 all over minus 4 pi square root of C L cube. Okay. Now let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Solution. What we are asked is to show that the partial derivative of F with respect to L is equal to minus 1 all over 4 pi square root of c l cube now let's go look at this we have f is equal to one all over two pi square root of l c right good now let's split this into two look at how i want to do it you know it's still the same thing if you say one all over two pi times one all over l c in bracket raised to power one all over two you see that this is the same thing right the square root is the same as raised to power 1 all over 2. And then you can factor out this 1 all over 2 pi multiplied by this 1 all over LC in bracket raised to power 1 all over 2. You see that it's still the same thing, right? Good. Now look at this CL or LC. I want to also split it into two. See, here we say that this LC is in bracket, right? And then it's having power 1 all over 2. So we are going to distribute the power to the content of this bracket. So when we do so, we are going to have 1 all over 2 by times 1 all over L raised to the power of 1 all over 2 times 1 all over C raised to the power of 1 all over 2. Is it clear? Yes. Now look at this. You know, we are interested in L, right? Good. Now, this L can be written as L raised to the power of minus 1 all over 2. You see that it's still the same thing, right? Now, this 1 all over 2 pi untouched, 1 all over C raised to the power of 1 over 2 untouched, and then the one we are considering is L. We say it's still the same thing as saying L in bracket raised to the power of minus 1 all over 2. All right? Now, you see the way I specify this, right? I write this expression. This is the standard way it should be. Okay, I just separated it. Now, the next thing we do is we differentiate partially with respect to L, which is exactly what we are asked to do. Okay, so that means we are going to say the partial derivative of F with respect to L is equal to, you know, we have our constant 1 all over 2 pi times 1 all over C raised to the power of 1 all over 2 as our constant, right? Good. Then we say, multiply by when you differentiate l partially with respect to l what are you going to have you know the power will come down all right we have minus one over two then l raised to the power of we have minus one over two minus one so when you say minus one over two minus one is going to give us minus three all over two is that clear Yes, now look at this, you know, this L raised to the power of minus 3 all over 2, I can take it to be in a fraction form, okay? So it's going to give me 1 all over L raised to the power of 3 all over 2. Is that clear? Here, look at what we have. This 1 all over 2 multiplied by 1 all over 2 pi is going to give us minus 1 all over 4 pi. Then we say times 1 all over C raised to the power of 1 all over 2 times l raised to the power of 3 all over 2 all right good now look at this again look at this in this l we can factor out 3 from the power okay so when you factor out 3 you are going to have 1 all over 2 remaining okay so that means we say that the partial derivative of l with respect to l is equal to minus 1 all over 4 times 1 all over c raised to the power of 1 all over 2 times 1 all over l cube and then what will be remaining is what raised to the power of what one all over two you see that this cube multiplied by one all over two is going to give us 
and raised to the power of 3 all over 2. Okay, we see that it is still the same thing. Now let's go. What do we do again? Look at this denominator C and L. C and L. You can bear witness that these two are having the same power. They are having what? The same power. So we can bring it together and then raise to the power of what? 1 all over 2. So when we do so, this is what we are going to have. We are going to say that we have the partial derivative of f with respect to l is equal to minus 1 all over 4 times 1 all over c l cube, all in bracket, raised to the power of 1 all over 2. Okay? Yes. Then you see that this raised to the power of 1 all over 2 is the same as root, right? So that means we have the partial derivative of f with respect to l is equal to, we have minus 1 all over 4 pi times 1 all over square root of c l cube. Let's combine this together. So we have that the partial derivative of f with respect to l is equal to 1 all over 4 pi square root of c l cube. Hence the proof. All right? Hence the proof. So therefore, the partial derivative of f with respect to l is equal to minus 1 all over 4 pi square root of c l cube. So this is the partial derivative. All right. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please like, subscribe, and share our videos. Stay blessed. See you some other time.